This video is sponsored by Morning Brew. Welcome to A Day in My Life with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Recently, I started to go to the gym every day, so now I have to wake up at 6 a.m. in order to have enough time for breakfast and my morning meetings. Instead of hopping onto social media apps like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok to scroll aimlessly, or even just to try to keep up with news, I started to use Morning Brew as a replacement, which is very P of me. P as in productive. Morning Brew makes the best daily newsletter that keeps me up to date with all the latest tech, business and finance news in just a few minutes which saved me ton of time in the mornings. By signing up for Morning Brew it only took me around 15 seconds and all the information is concise, informative and relevant. It's just a joy to read every morning. I even just learned that Lululemon is starting to sell shoes now. It might be a time for a new upgrade for my current gym shoes. So remember, Morning Brew is free and if you're interested in business, finance or tech, there's no reason not to subscribe, it takes less than 15 seconds, so just click the first link in the description and subscribe to Morning Brew today. Right before I headed to the gym, I had to collect some packages that were left for me overnight and I'm not gonna lie, there's some heat in these packages so make sure you have those notices turned on so you don't miss it. When I'm at the gym, I love listening to music or some podcasts, and my favorite pair of earbuds for the gym is the Beats Fit Pro, full review soon. I also rock Spotify as my streaming service, it's currently 6.48am and now I have 93% battery life, not too bad. I have the Bluetooth turned on and also Wi-Fi, since my gym has free Wi-Fi, I needed to stream my music anyways and follow my daily routine with my fitness pal. Roughly I spent about 40 minutes at the gym, but I also have a very bad habit of checking my phone periodically when I am tired, just to rest a little. I went on to Twitter to tell everyone to say hi for my YouTube video, so if you guys see yourself, you know you're a real one. I also just went on to TikTok, and the first video I saw was someone working out, and that motivated me to get back to work. I finished working out at around 7.42 am and also used my Samsung Galaxy watch to track all the workouts so it could link back to my phone. At this time I had around 85% battery life left and usually after my workouts I just love to do a quick stretch just to keep the muscles strong and healthy. But yeah, this is from the front camera but guess what, on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus you could switch while recording on to my back camera and this is recording at 4k30. And I can show you guys the time right now, seven around 7.43 or so. And this is, um, really, this is a really good feature on the Samsung Galaxy devices. Another thing I could do is also pause the video while recording. So, see, I just paused the video, now I'm over here. I could pause it again and resume the video with that button right there. So yeah, this is the reason why I love the Samsung Galaxy S22. And let me know what, what do you guys think about the front camera? I think it's around 12 megapixel. It's looking really good right now. And it does have autofocus. So as you guys can see, it's focusing on my glasses. Can you see my little one strand of beard down there? But yeah, this is amazing. Now all I have to do is head back up to my building and get ready, take a shower, eat breakfast, and get ready for work. So yeah, let's go. When I got back from the gym, the first thing I did was stream music across my Google Nest devices. I really wanted to see also what was in the packages I left from this morning. One of them was a gift from Acura, the car company. The other was some unreleased product and I can't talk about that right now. And finally, I also got my 27 inch monitor from BenQ. Now it's 8.15 AM, 79% battery life. Let's get ready. I also love listening to music while I shower and of course I enable Dolby Atmos so please don't come for me in the comments. I'm not even sure what it does but it definitely makes the speakers sound louder. The speakers for sure passed the shower test because I could hear all the lyrics even when the shower head was running at full blast. Today for breakfast I had the basic pancakes and eggs with a little bit of ham minced up inside. I also used this time to check on the social media just to see if I got any new notifications and also just to catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers 
hours before my 9.30 a.m. team meeting. Just to also touch on the display, the S22 Plus has a beautiful 6.6 inch AMOLED 1080p display running at 120Hz so it's buttery smooth. It's also very vibrant and never have issues watching content on this device. It also gets really bright up to 1750 nits. But Samsung still to this day has some of the best colors I've ever seen on a smartphone and it's very hard to beat. Alright guys, I just finished up eating my breakfast. It's now 9.23, so I have basically like 7 minutes until my meeting. But what I usually do at this time is log my breakfast, like with my fitness pal. Another thing I like to do during this time is hop into Notion, make sure that I have like everything jot down for my meeting. So what I have to do today is take photos of 33 Mill Street, in the afternoon when we get the keys and I also have a coaching call and I think I have to edit a few videos. The good thing about the S22 is that if you're using one hand, for example right here, I could just swipe down, boom, now I have like one hand in mode and it has the full operating system in this little small box right here. And if I want to, I could like move to different corners. It's 9.30, I'm kinda late for the meeting, so let me just hop in right now. Another thing I like about Android and Samsung is that they have interactive widgets, so you could actually touch the widgets, unlike on iOS. And also I joined on my Samsung Galaxy S22, used the front facing camera, the speakers were good. No one really complained that I was like on my phone or they couldn't hear me well or the picture quality was bad. So I guess it was, you know, a good flawless experience. All right, just finished my morning meeting. It's currently 9.46. 9.46 and I only have like 64% battery life left. <laughs> Yo, I'm not sure if this will last the entire day. Also, I just checked on Twitter and you guys are like going crazy. 144 replies of everyone just saying hi <laughs> to go into the day in the life video. Shout out to everybody here. Cameras on the S22 Plus look really good in daylight, especially the front facing camera. Here I'm at with the 3x optical zoom, very very stable, especially when I had to run to catch my streetcar. You might not believe me, but I am running at this very moment in this clip. If you don't believe me, you could see I'm literally running right now, but the stabilization is just really really good on the Galaxy devices. The first thing I did when I got onto the streetcar was just to pull out my phone, check on my emails because I'm sure I missed some overnight and also I didn't really have time to check them in the morning. I got to work at around 10.54 am and by this time I had 52% battery life. My boy Neil was also asking about the Galaxy Watch and I also showed him the new S22 yeah, yeah. Plus. No, what, what is it like? Is it, is it better? I don't know. It's sick bro. I've been using it for like what? Like a week now? Cause I've, I've been an Apple guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, it looks clean though. It looks clean. Though. Right? It looks clean. Yeah. I, I like how it's not like a you know a square face yeah that's the big thing oh sh that's yeah, sick. sick lunch time <laughs> lunch time <laughs> all right people don't believe i've been using it how long have you seen me being oh using my this god one? you've been using it for for more than what what you said right yeah. yeah you said you're gonna use it for two weeks you've been using it before that too yeah, yeah and then i was going around the phone like i don't even know how to do anything but it's sick it's sick, it's sick. Like the widgets yeah, and everything. yeah the, the widgets are nice and what i like is that the, the widgets are interactive you know on iphone you can't really use the widgets. you know you know why they were first they were first to this game they had the widget. <laughs> so now it's currently 10 57 a.m and i have 51 percent on the samsung galaxy s22 plus now it's time to just do some work before my 12 p.m coaching call <laughs> While I was working, I got a call from my little sister. She was basically telling me that her pig unfortunately died, which is kind of sad. And also my mom was also messaging me on WhatsApp about some things that she needs to send up for me. And I can't wait until it gets here. After grinding for a while, I was craving a little coffee. So I went over to Juliana, which is one of my favorite coffee spots in Toronto. And I grabbed the Chevy Special. I also paid using Samsung Pay for the first time and it worked flawlessly. 
Right after my coffee run, I hopped into my coaching call and it was very productive. I got to talk about my mistakes and how I can improve as a content creator and a marketing manager. That meeting lasted for around 45 minutes and I didn't touch my phone until it ended. By the way, yes, this wallpaper looks fire. I know it's from my wallpaper pack Ephora. Link down below in the description as well. It looks good on the S22 Plus and if you ever change your wallpaper, it affects the whole UI like the control center, the keypad, the keyboard, the messages app and the native app icons, all trying to match the color palette of the wallpaper. I think that's really cool. So now I'm starting to get out the hungry, especially because everyone is just eating their lunch, but I have to be chilling because I have another meeting scheduled for 1 p.m. to talk about a project that we're doing soon. So I was just sitting there looking like a sad puppy and instead I just took some quick pictures. I actually heard a dog barking when I looked. It was my coworker. He brought his dog today, so I had to take a few pics because he's just looking so cute. Also, my coworker said he watched a couple of my videos. It popped up on his recommended. So yeah, thank you, YouTube. Your videos, for some reason, they, they popped on my feed. Which one? On YouTube? You, I watched your home uh, finding Moving? your condo, yeah. and I found your uh, what's in my bag. Oh, I, really? I liked your what's in my bag a lot. This meeting was fairly short and it lasted for about 20 minutes, but I was really hungry so I ordered some food while I was on the call. After the meeting I was starving and I just realized that Skilly Bang dropped a new track so I had to check it out. A couple minutes later my food arrived and it felt like I just got my energy back. <gasps> and yes, my food got stuck between the door. Also while I was eating I got a call from my friend talking about motors for the rest of the day because I wanted to bring the S22 Plus out for some night shots to see how it performs but I'm not sure about that since it's only 2 12 p.m. and I have 27% battery life left and I also have to go and take some pictures for a new listing that we have to post. After my lunch I just browsed through Instagram, TikTok and Twitter for about 10 minutes and then I replied to some YouTube comments to show some love. While reading the comments, I also realized that one of my iPhone Day in the Life videos just hit 1 million views. So I just screenshotted it, edited it with the Samsung markup tool, which by the way is really useful, and I posted it onto Twitter and Instagram to celebrate with you guys. Also, if I wanted to, I could have screenshotted it like this with this hand gesture movement to be a little bit fancy, and also capture more information because the S22 Plus allows us to have longer screenshot depending on how much you want to grab in that screenshot itself. That's something not a lot of phones can do. So now it's 2.46 p.m. and I'm kind of disappointed because I only have 18% battery life left. Honestly, I don't think I used the phone that much for it to be at 18%, but it is what it is. Now we have to head out to a shoot at 33 Mill Street because we have to take some pictures and videos for a new lease listing that we have coming up soon on the market. This is six feet men <laughs> length. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Bro, Samsung is like up oh, next. Look at the tree. That boy is drippy. Oh, drippy. Oh, no, the leaves on the back. Let me see the. Okay. How much for the jacket? How much for the jacket? Five bucks. How much for the pants? How much for the pants? How much for the bag? How much for the bag? How much for the bag? Two dollars. I see, I see the beanie, my boy. I'm gonna put a beanie, I'm gonna put a beanie. Free. <laughs> so we got to the unit, and when I first saw it, it was not my vibe, you know what I'm saying? It has everything that you need. It has a den, it's a one bedroom plus den. It also has a washer and dryer built in. It has the dishwasher, all that good stuff, but the layout was just not my vibe. But then again, it's in a pretty good ear. I'm not sure how much this is going for, but we took the pictures, we did the video, and guess what? Yo, quick update guys, almost 4 p.m. right now, and I only have 5% battery left. Seven minutes after four? It didn't even make after, the full day. After four, it didn't make the full day. RIP. I didn't even want it to die, it just died. It was on airplane mode and it died. Yeah, it's 4.07. 4.07, I was yeah. correct. Seven minutes after four, it died. What a shame. So yeah, unfortunately the S22 Plus died off way before the day ended, which is kind of sad honestly. So for the rest of the day, I just met up with my friend's girlfriend, we're just touring the area a little bit, check out a few shops, then afterwards we're feeling a bit hungry so we checked out this pastry store. Really really nice food, my sweet tooth was going crazy. And then I actually saw a subscriber, so I guess the worker in there watching my videos and she wanted to say hi. 
Yeah. I saw you seen work. it before? Yeah, oh. you're doing great. I'm vlogging on it, you say hi. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> you're doing great. So you got it. Yeah. After that, we ate our food, fed the birds a little bit. <laughs> and finally told them bye and I went home. Alright. Oh, uh, what a day. Just got home. It's like 4.50. I'm kind of sad that the S22 died off on me. I'm not sure how it died so quick. I'm going to charge it up now because um, we have to head out tonight and I want to take some night pictures with it. So one thing I must say is that I love how it feels. The build quality is really good. Reminiscent of the iPhone. I love the flat design that they went with. The corners feel nice. It's a little bit light, but it definitely feels good to grip in the hand. It always feels secure. Love that. The charger I'm using is a 65 watt charger. Oh, little animation right there. Zero percent. But in the meantime, I want to unbox this, guys. Ah. Little, little monitor arm right there. Oh. You get cables, cables, more cables, more cables, another cable, some paperwork, more paperwork. This is the base itself. We also get the cable raceway and a little designer puck. We have the monitor itself and it's looking beautiful. Okay, so I know my room is looking a bit messy right now, but I decided to film a TikTok and Instagram reel on the S22 Plus. I got the juice up a little bit so I could film. And also one thing I love is that the S22 Plus actually tells you how much minutes or hours is left until you could get a full charge from your device. But quickly, I just remembered I have to do an RMA for one of my older BenQ monitors that stopped working and they already sent me a new one w company i also stopped by the samsung store to check out the surf and the frame tvs because the surf tv looks so good so i couldn't resist i ordered one because i know it looked perfect in my apartment yep samsung boys out here man oh we're gonna be out here yes sir so all we have to do is just wait a couple days until the tv gets here i hopped on a train and i went back home all right guys so i just quickly want to run through the battery health and how the battery performed throughout the day the screen recording should be up on this side, hopefully. But yo, look how cool this is. So on the Samsung Galaxy S22, you could literally annotate while screen recording. So I could circle stuff. Oh, this is crazy. Look, I could record with a front-facing camera with a small circle while screen recording on this phone. So that's perfect for gamers. So far today, when my phone died off at around 4 p.m., I think, I had four hours and 13 minutes screen on time. So. That's kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie, especially for a phone of this size. Screen off was 5 hours and 48 minutes, but in comparison to like my iPhone 13 mini that lasted 6 hours screen on time, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on um, the battery life status and that's what we have, so yep. Okay, now back to the videos that we shot earlier today, I needed to upload them to TikTok and also Instagram. I tried to export them on this app called CapCut, but then I figured out it can't be exported in 4K, so I had to find a substitute app, and I scrolled on the Play Store until I found this app called VN Editor. I think the app did a pretty good job, especially since it allows me to export at 4K. The S22 Plus is actually pretty fast and imported all 16 4K clips in under a minute, thanks to that 8GB of RAM and also the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 inside. Also, editing in VN Editor was pretty smooth, and since it was my first time it took around eight minutes to edit that seven second clip and about seven seconds to export it as well at 4k and who would have guessed it i tried to upload that said video on tiktok and it said videos above 1080p are not supported this is never an issue on the iphone just saying instead i posted it onto instagram and it uploaded perfectly fine so now that the reel is live let's see if anyone realizes around 8 pm i linked up with my boy jp to go and check out the ovo warehouse sale just to see if i could get some drip for the low and all also, just wondering if I could take some pics in low light for you guys. Got there, I met a couple of you guys, shout out to all my subscribers, and also it was too late. They said it closed at 9, we got there like 8.30 and they still wouldn't let us in, but that wasn't gonna stop us from taking some night shots. Uh -huh. 
so i went back home we stopped at anw grabbed some food and here i am back home at 9 30 pm Today was a very good day with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, but the real letdown was all in the battery department. I think 4 hours screen on time is just not a lot. I also checked the reels on TikTok post I made and everyone seems to be liking the video quality from the S22 Plus. Aside from all of that, I really enjoyed using the phone. I'm not sure if I could use it as my main device because of that battery life. And based on my experience, Android just has too many limitations with social media apps that I use on a daily basis. Well now, I'm just gonna eat my AW, watch some basketball, and then head to sleep for another busy day tomorrow. Hopefully Samsung can improve on these small limitations to make the perfect Galaxy smartphone.